Hi, welcome back to hacking. We're going to look at phase four of cracking into a system and we're going to use our agent account that we recovered from phase three. So in this case, I'm going to cho I chose agent 269694. Now the last six characters at 269694 is the last six characters of your student ID. So if you look at your student ID, you'll match it up with the agent. I want to hack this and we don't know what the password is and we do not have a password list. So we're going to do a hydra-l which is the username which does not have to be capital, you make that lowercase, dash x, we know it's a three digit pin and it's a maximum of a three digit pin so we're going to do a minimum of three digits, a maximum of three digits and we know it's a pin number so we're going to do one representing numbers there. Then the host that we found from the other exercise is 192.168.1. Oops. Dot one dot two two three we'll use FTP and we want it to stop that dash F is it's finished when it finds the password so let's go ahead and run this and see if we can find the pass number there we go so we see the host there we see the agent and we see the password now I'm gonna go over and find the escalate exploit that we had earlier and there it is escalate.exe so I've got that exploit right there I need to upload that to the system. If you remember in phase three, that's where we used OpenStego to extract the Escalate file. So now I'm going to use the credentials I got right here. So I'm going to FTP to 192.168.1.223. Enter. What's my user account? Agent 269694 and the password 971. All right, I'm in. Now the first thing I have to do is switch to mode binary. If I don't switch to binary, then the file will not upload the right way. It is a binary file. Now I'm going to choose put that file name right there and done. It's now uploaded. So we've got the file uploaded on the FTP server. You can see that escalate file right there. The reason it was able to find it is I went to the directory. You see I CD'd over to my temp directory. That's where I put my file. And so I, when I went into that directory, that's where the file was. If you have the escalate file on your desktop, then you'll want to CD to your desktop before you FTP. That just makes the whole process easier. If you don't, you can use a local change directory and change directory after using FTP, but that's an extra step and it's just a, you know, a little annoying to work out the limited FTP commands. Now that we've done that, we're going to choose exit and log out. So, and yeah, all these messages right here, the Federal Services Data Center, uh, data system, system undergo maintenance, this kind of thing. Um, then we've got the database corrupted, cyber warfare scenario in instigated. Uh, you can ignore those things. I mean, what is a unauthorized entry is prohibited and what is a restricted what? restrictions? Restrictions are for non-hackers. Okay, so let's go over here and FTP, I'm sorry, our desktop to the system. So we're going to use a username of that agent we used right up there. So you see that agent 269694. And we're gonna use our password, which our password, we saw that 971. So we'll do that. And then the host, which is 192.168.1.223. When you type our desktop there, we can see that our desktop opens up our window and it brings us up and tells us that we're agent 269694. And now we're gonna go down to run. So we choose run. And in the run menu, we choose CMD. And now we can see where we're, where we are located. I'm looking at it right now on the screen. Where we're located on the FTP server. So you see the INET pub FTP root agent 269694. If I type DIR, we'll see that I have escalate.exe. The reason it's there is because I just uploaded it over here. Now I run the escalate, escalate.exe. And it's going to ask me a question. It's going to say, okay, do you want to escalate on a Windows XP box or do you want to escalate on a Windows 2K3 box? Well, this is Windows 2003. So we're going to go ahead and do the escalate and type 2K3. So I press that and bam, look at that. If I type who am I, you'll see that I'm now NT authority system and it's all red showing that I have hacked this box. So now I've hacked it, I can create my user account. So I'm going to do that. The command to use that, I'm going to type net user slash add my account 800 and we'll just do 234, uh, whatever it is, uh, 234567, whatever it is there. And then the password 800 234567 slash active colon yes. 
and we're supposed to leave a comment and I believe the comment is security manager manager if I get this straight and our full name whatever our full name is and we'll just make our name I don't know let's say Batma um, Batma I don't know something I don't know what's what's a last name we can use I'm gonna get stuck on this um, Ahmed try that okay and then do I have the active on there yes so we've got the net user add that right there is the username we're adding that's the password for the username we're adding we're saying it's active and we create a comment saying security manager and the full name which I did not type full name I don't know how I missed that full name colon but Muhammad so I'm gonna press enter that command create uh, was completed successfully that user now exists now we're going to add that user to the administrators group so we'll type net local group add administrators and we'll type the H zero zero two three four five six seven and so we've got that in there right there we're gonna choose add enter and the command was completed successfully so now we've got that user added to that not just to verify that we type net user or I type net local group I'll type net local group uh, h00 actually let's do administrators administrators to see if it's added and we can see right there we have the user that 567 is now there 234567 is there so that's it that's all there is now we've created a backdoor account to the system that backdoor account has full administrative rights to the to the box and it can log in at any point in time and our user account is still not an administrator account so the one we logged into the agent account here this agent 269694 you can see that that agent is still not here so I should have made that H0269694 is what I should have made but that's all there is to it that is phase four once you uh, do that then you are finished I hope that this helps